Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. Let's take a look at BlueJ and NetBeans. BlueJ is simple, designed for teaching, interactive, portable, mature, and innovative. Now, what you're going to do is download some BlueJ samples from the book on BlueJ by Michael Curling and take one of the examples and open it onto disk and then open it into BlueJ. BlueJ is a perfect tool if you are teaching or learning about object orientation. You can see here a whole range of different objects that all relate to each other in different ways. When you double click on each of the objects, you can see actual Java code. On disk, each of these objects is a Java file. There isn't at this point a main method in this set of objects, so we're going to add one here. We add a new class. We remove all the default code that is in that class. And then we write our public static void main within the class. Public static void main, a string array of arguments. Then within that main method, what we're going to write is simulator. So we're going to declare the simulator and instantiate it. And then using code completion, so control space, you can see these are the methods in the simulator and we'll use that one. Run long simulation. We now compile all of these different objects, which will result in Java classes being generated. And then we call the main method. And as you can see here, a simulation is started up. Now this is the result of a particular section in the book. And you end up with that particular set of objects and that simulation. However, now we imagine we want to move from BlueJ into NetBeans. So you can see we started out with the um, Java application from existing sources template. And we point to the folder where we unzipped those um, sources from the book. And we specify that we don't want all the class files because we don't need them. They'll be generated in NetBeans. And we just have the source files now. Here's a list of the source files. We say finish. And now here is our complete project in the default package. We run the application. We point to our class containing the main method and the simulation runs. As you can see, it's trivial moving your code from BlueJ to NetBeans. However, a second interesting thing to be aware of is that you can continue using BlueJ and NetBeans next to each other. So you can see here we've made a change inside BlueJ and we switch to NetBeans and we find that related class and we see it's been updated. We make a change inside NetBeans 2025, we save it, we go back to BlueJ, we look inside that particular class in BlueJ and it's been updated. So if you like BlueJ, you can continue using BlueJ. At the same time, when you're learning about professional IDEs for doing real work, you can combine it with NetBeans, as you can see here. So NetBeans shows you that there's been a change. The two are synchronized with each other. And similarly, as you are using NetBeans, you might like to learn about object orientation and then use BlueJ alongside NetBeans using the tutorials and the book and the other materials that you can find on the BlueJ site. In other words, there's no need for a plugin, there's no need for special support for BlueJ and NetBeans because the two are synchronized with each other and both of them work with actual Java source files. There's no intermediate stage, there's no intermediate objects that are generated. It's pure Java source files that comes from both ends. That's it. Have fun with BlueJ and with NetBeans.